Okay, everybody, are you ready to start looking at some live streaming software? Before we jump into our presentation, I just want to give you some basic foundational knowledge on live streaming and live streaming software. First of all, the more advanced the software is, the harder it's going to be to learn and use. The more basic the software is, the easier it's going to be able to use. So what we're going to go over today is how advanced do you really need to be and take that with how easy do you need it to be for volunteers and people to be able to use. So that's kind of the crutch on which this diagram has been uh, made here and we're going to go ahead and review this now. So uh, arguably the most powerful system that's kind of in the church space that the really, really high-end churches use are the new tech TriCasters. So I have them over here on the feature richness side as extremely feature rich. But, uh, you know, I've, I've used them before. I would say there's more buttons on the screen than anybody else. And it's, it's more complicated to use than the other options on this list. So if ease of use is of higher priority than feature richness, then you might need to go with something like a, the built-in Facebook Live app, for example, which is by far the easiest live streaming system. And we'll show that in a little bit as well. Now the next on feature richness, this is a really popular one for churches, is vMix. vMix is extremely feature rich, and once you get to know how to use it, it's actually quite easy. Um, but I have it on the ease of use side uh, over here because it's only for Windows. So if you're a Mac person, you're ruled out. This, this is only for Windows computers. Now what a lot of people do is they build custom Windows PCs, or you can use the brand new Intel Nook uh, Skull Canyon PCs, which are like i7 PCs for roughly $1,300 fully maxed out that run Windows. And you can run a really nice, affordable PC computer with vMix on it. And that's, it's really one of my favorite softwares, but it's, it's very feature rich, but it's, 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 it's harder to use than, let's say, XSplit or OBS or Wirecast, which is the next one I'm going to mention. So Wirecast, I have it as a, also the size of these circles. I tried to put the larger the circle, the larger the user base. And Wirecast is actually based in California, which really makes the support great. There's a huge user base, um, and a lot of churches love using Wirecast. It's easier to use than vMix in a lot of ways. The interface is more uh, intuitive, I've been told, from a lot of different people, and I, I believe that. Um, and as a larger uh, view, user base, because it supports w Mac and PC, and I know a lot of churches use Macs, and I think Macs are great. And if you use a Mac, Wirecast is probably going to be your best option. Um, so there's Wirecast there. Easy to use, but very feature rich. You can do almost everything you can with vMix in Wirecast. Um, they even have some options for new tech in NDI integration, which we may or may not get into in this course. I want to keep it very basic right now. Um, the next one we'll look at is OBS, Open Broadcast Software. Now keep in mind, by the way, I've got a course on vMix, I've got a course on Wirecast, OBS, and XSplit. So we're not going to go into the details of those uh, softwares. You can get free coupons for all of those software uh, courses on our website. So ptzoptics.com slash landing slash coupons dot html will get you the free coupon codes to take these courses. But let's talk about OBS. OBS is very basic, but it's it does 90% of what people need. Um, it I have it pretty far along here on the ease of use. You know, it really belongs kind of over here with because it's so basic, it's easy to use. Um, it's not hard to use at all. Um, and it does have a lot of the features people need, allowing you to layer, you know, a camera over a, um, a, another picture or transitioning between multiple cameras. They call them scenes. It, it's, it's, people really like OBS and I'm a big fan and there's a ton of users for OBS. I can't even make this circle big enough without getting, without covering up everybody else. So OBS is huge really a huge platform. XSplit is another Windows only software um, that is easier to use than OBS. It has more features than OBS. It's Windows only. So I'm kind of like uh, OBS it works for Mac or PC or Linux. It's kind of like the Wirecast versus vMix here. OBS is 
a uh, little bit harder to use than XSplit. XSplit has more features, but XSplit only works on Windows. Now, live stream, I've got the live stream Mevo. This is just like a live streaming camera. You can live stream directly off PTZ Optics cameras as well. And you don't get many features um, when you do that. You, you, you just get a very easy live stream. Okay? So that's why that's there. And then Facebook has a built in live streaming app. There's no features at all except for the integration with the chat room. Um, but you can select a webcam and a microphone and stream to Facebook. So I hope that's helpful. That gives you kind of an overview of the different types of software that are out there today. You Choosing the right software is so important, not just because um, you need to get the right balance of price and features and ease of use, but also your time that you spend investing in this software um, is valuable. And once you learn how to use Wirecaster, once you learn how to use vMix, they're all different and the buttons are in different places. They all have different menus. So you really want to choose the right one from the get go and then go forward with that. And that way, all the knowledge you accumulate on that learning curve, uh, once you're up here and you've learned the software, you don't have to go back and learn another one because you, you started with the wrong software. So feel free to ask me questions. I want to get you the right software and um, let's go on to the next video. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.